Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to share a profound truth that can significantly impact how we navigate our lives and face our challenges. In a world filled with noise and distractions, we often feel compelled to voice our struggles. But I urge you to consider the wisdom of restraint. Do not tell people about your problems. When you choose not to share your problems, you reclaim your power. You take ownership of your narrative and your journey. Your challenges are personal, and how you respond to them shapes your character. By keeping your struggles close, you cultivate a sense of autonomy that empowers you to take action without the influence of others. In our quest for solutions, we must recognize the limitations of external perspectives. When we voice our problems, we invite opinions that may not align with our values or aspirations. Instead of relying on others for insight, let us trust our instincts and inner wisdom. Embrace the notion that you possess the strength to navigate your challenges. Silence can be a sanctuary. In moments of quiet reflection, we can find clarity and peace. When we refrain from sharing our struggles, we create space for contemplation, allowing ourselves to process emotions and develop a deeper understanding of our circumstances. It is in this solitude that we discover our resilience. Furthermore, it is essential to shift our focus from the problems themselves to the solutions we can create. Speaking about our difficulties can often lead to a cycle of negativity, trapping us in a mindset of despair. Instead, let us channel our energy into finding constructive ways to overcome obstacles. This proactive approach fosters a sense of agency and optimism. We must also recognize that not everyone deserves access to our vulnerabilities. In sharing our problems, we risk exposing ourselves to judgment and criticism. Protect your journey and share your aspirations only with those who uplift and support you. Surround yourself with individuals who inspire growth rather than dwell on difficulties. Remember, within every problem lies an opportunity for growth. When we keep our challenges to ourselves, we can reflect deeply on them and discover innovative ways to transform them into stepping stones for success. Each struggle is a chance to learn, evolve, and emerge stronger. In closing, I encourage you to embrace the power of silence. Your problems are not for public consumption. They are personal experiences meant for your growth. By holding them close, you empower yourself to navigate life's journey with strength, resilience, and grace. Empowerment through discretion is a profound principle that can redefine our approach to life's challenges. When we exercise discretion in sharing our problems, we reclaim control over our narrative and our emotions. We live in a world where the sharing of personal struggles is often encouraged, yet this openness can sometimes lead to vulnerability that is not always constructive. When we choose to keep our challenges to ourselves, we engage in a powerful act of self-empowerment. This choice allows us to assess our situation with clarity, free from the noise and opinions of others. We step into a space where we can reflect deeply on our experiences, gaining insight that might otherwise be clouded by external judgments. This inner dialogue becomes a crucial tool in our journey of self-discovery. It provides the foundation for personal growth, enabling us to confront our fears and insecurities head on without the interference of others. Moreover, discretion fosters a sense of independence. When we do not rely on others for validation or advice regarding our problems, we cultivate a strong sense of self-reliance. We learn to trust our instincts and instincts alone. This self-trust is crucial because it empowers us to make decisions that resonate with our true selves. We become the architects of our solutions rather than passive recipients of advice that may not align with our goals or values. Keeping our problems private also protects our emotional well-being. Sharing our struggles can sometimes lead to pity, judgment, or even envy from others. These reactions can drain our energy and undermine our confidence. By choosing discretion, we shield ourselves from external negativity, creating a more nurturing environment for our personal growth. It allows us to maintain our peace of mind, enabling us to approach our challenges with a clearer, more focused mindset. Discretion also enhances our ability to strategize. When we hold our challenges close, we can devise our own plans without being influenced by others' perspectives. This independence fosters creativity as we explore solutions that are authentic to our experiences. In this space, we can consider multiple angles and approaches, leading us to innovative solutions that may not have surfaced in the chaos of external dialogue. Furthermore, by practicing discretion, 
We encourage an internal dialogue that is constructive rather than destructive. We can frame our problems as opportunities for growth and learning. Instead of seeing challenges as insurmountable obstacles, we start to perceive them as valuable lessons that will equip us for future endeavors. This shift in perspective not only empowers us, but also transforms our relationship with adversity. Additionally, exercising discretion reinforces our personal boundaries. We learn to protect our emotional space, allowing only those who genuinely uplift and support us into our inner circle. This selectivity creates an environment where we can thrive. It fosters connections that are rooted in mutual respect and understanding, encouraging a community that nurtures our growth rather than stifles it. In summary, empowerment through discretion is not just about withholding information, it is a deliberate choice to honor our journey and cultivate our strength. It enables us to navigate life's challenges with a sense of authority and resilience. By keeping our struggles close to our hearts, we embrace our unique path, turning each challenge into an opportunity for growth and empowerment. In this way, we harness the true potential of our experiences emerging not just as survivors, but as empowered individuals ready to face whatever life may bring. The power of perspective is one of the most transformative tools we possess in navigating life's challenges. It shapes how we interpret our circumstances, how we approach our struggles, and ultimately how we find solutions. Perspective is not merely about what we see, it's about how we choose to see it. The same problem, through different lenses, can either be a burden or an opportunity, a wall or a door. When we face difficulties, it's natural to seek advice or validation from others. But here's the truth, not everyone sees life the way you do. Their perspectives are shaped by their experiences, their limitations, their values, and their fears. When we allow others to define our problems, we often lose sight of the unique way in which we are meant to approach them. Every problem we encounter is a reflection of the path we're walking, and it's our personal perspective that will guide us toward the solutions meant for us. This is why perspective holds so much power. It's a personal lens that nobody else can fully understand or apply to your life. Imagine you're looking at a painting. Two people can stand in front of the same piece of art. And while one may see confusion and chaos, the other may see harmony and balance. The painting hasn't changed. It's the lens through which it's viewed that has transformed the experience. In the same way, our problems are often colored by the lens we choose to wear. When we view our challenges through a lens of defeat or hopelessness, that is what we will find. But when we adjust our perspective to one of empowerment and possibility, new paths reveal themselves. Perspective also has the power to break us free from the limitations imposed by others. If we depend on others to tell us what our problems mean or how we should solve them, we risk adopting their limitations as our own. People may project their own fears or inadequacies onto our situation, and before we know it, We've internalized a belief that a problem is unsolvable simply because it was outside the scope of someone else's understanding. This is why it's so important to guard our perspective. When we keep our problems to ourselves, we protect our ability to see them clearly and creatively. We give ourselves the space to think independently, to weigh all possibilities without the burden of someone else's restrictions. Furthermore, perspective is not just about how we see the present, but how we envision the future. When we encounter difficulties, it is easy to feel trapped in the moment, consumed by the weight of what we're going through. But when we shift our perspective to the bigger picture, we begin to understand that no problem is permanent. Every difficulty is temporary, every challenge a stepping stone. With the right perspective, we learn to ask ourselves not why is this happening to me, but what can I learn from this and how will it prepare me for what's to come? There is also a liberating truth about perspective. It is entirely within your control. While we cannot always control what happens to us, we can always control how we interpret and respond to it. This is where true freedom lies, not in the absence of problems, but in the ability to see them for what they really are, opportunities for growth, tests of resilience, and moments of refinement. Every challenge is shaping you, strengthening you for what lies ahead. And when we adopt this perspective, we realize that even our most difficult moments are part of a larger narrative one that is leading us to our purpose. Another key aspect of the power of perspective is the ability to rise above circumstances. When you see your problems from a higher vantage point, you no longer feel submerged by them. You gain the ability to see beyond the immediate difficulty to the lessons embedded within. From this elevated view, your problems lose their weight 
and you've seen it for what they are, temporary disruptions, not permanent conditions. This shift in perspective allows you to navigate challenges with a calm, focused mind, making decisions not from a place of fear, but from a place of wisdom. In essence, perspective is the key to turning trials into trials, into triumphs. It allows us to see possibilities where others see obstacles. It gives us the courage to move forward when others say it's impossible. And it is within our grasp at every moment waiting for us to claim it and use it to rewrite the story of our struggles. So when life presents challenges, remember that how you see them is how you will live through them. Choose a perspective that empowers you. Choose a perspective that lifts you above the noise of fear, doubt, and limitation. In doing so, you will discover that the very challenges meant to break you are the ones that will make you. Guarding your peace is one of the most vital yet often overlooked aspects of living a fulfilled and purposeful life. In a world filled with noise, distractions, and external pressures, your inner peace becomes a sacred treasure. It is the foundation upon which your strength, clarity, and wisdom are built. When we talk about peace, we're not referring to the absence of conflict, but rather the presence of stillness and balance within regardless of what's happening around you. There is a profound truth in this. You are responsible for guarding your peace. No one else can do it for you. Your peace is not something you can afford to leave unprotected because the moment you do, the world will rush in with its demands, its chaos, and its noise, eager to consume your mental and emotional space. Guarding your peace is about setting boundaries, knowing when to let people in and when to keep certain influences out. When you share your problems with others, you open the door to opinions, judgments, and reactions that may disrupt your inner balance. Not everyone who listens to your struggles is equipped to handle them with care, and even those who mean well may not understand the full scope of your journey. This is why discretion is essential, because your peace must be protected from the unpredictability of others' reactions. The moment you allow unnecessary voices into your inner world, you risk allowing their chaos to become yours. Guarding your peace also means being selective about what you allow into your mind and heart. There are things in life that are beyond your control, other people's actions, unforeseen events, outcomes that don't go according to plan. When we hold on to the need to control everything, we inevitably lose our peace. But when we learn to let go, to accept that some things will unfold in their own time and in their own way, we free ourselves from the emotional weight of expectation. Detachment is not about apathy or disengagement. It's about recognizing that your peace is too precious to be tied to the unpredictability of life circumstances. In conclusion, guarding your peace is an ongoing intentional practice. It's about creating boundaries mentally, emotionally, and spiritually that protect you from the chaos of the world. It's about surrounding yourself with positivity, guarding your mind from negative thoughts, and taking control of your emotional responses. Your peace is a reflection of your inner strength, and it is the foundation that will carry you through every trial, every challenge, and every storm. When you make the choice to guard your peace, you are choosing to live from a place of empowerment, stability, and unwavering purpose. Focusing on solutions rather than struggles is a mindset shift that can transform how we live, how we grow, and how we overcome adversity. Life is full of challenges, obstacles, and difficulties. But the difference between those who are defeated by them and those who rise above them lies in where they place their attention. When we fixate on the struggles themselves, we magnify the problem, allowing it to dominate our thoughts and weigh down our spirit. But when we shift our focus towards solutions, we activate our creative power, our resilience, and our ability to move forward with purpose. The first key to this principle is understanding that problems will always exist. Life, by its very nature, is filled with uncertainty and change. Struggles come, not because we are unlucky, but because they are part of the human experience. Everyone, no matter how successful or wise, will encounter problems. What sets us apart is how we respond to them. When we dwell on the struggle, we give it more power over us. We start to identify with the problem, seeing it as an immovable force in our lives. It can lead to frustration, despair, and even a sense of helplessness. But focusing on solutions means we no longer allow the problem to define us. We acknowledge its presence, but we don't give it control over our mindset, our actions, or our future. Focusing on solutions begins with a change in perspective. 
When we face challenges, our initial instinct may be to feel overwhelmed by the complexity or severity of the problem. But the truth is that no problem is too great to overcome when approached with the right mindset. Solutions are always present. They may not always be obvious or immediate, but they exist. Shifting your perspective from why is this happening to me to what can I do to change, this is the first step toward empowerment. The problem is not as important as the mindset we bring to it. It's important to understand that struggles drain energy. When we focus solely on the difficulties, we deplete ourselves emotionally, mentally, and even physically. Worrying about the problem, replaying it in our minds, or talking endlessly about it with others only deepens the sense of frustration. This negative focus robs us of the energy needed to actually work toward a solution. We must be intentional about where we direct our mental and emotional energy. When you direct that energy toward finding a solution, you're channeling it into something productive, something that brings hope, clarity, and action. This focus on solutions also taps into our innate creativity and resourcefulness. When faced with a problem, we have two choices to feel paralyzed by the difficulty or to activate the creative potential within us. The human mind is a powerful tool. It is designed to innovate, to adapt, and to solve problems. But to access that power, we must focus on possibility rather than impossibility. When we look at the situation with a solution-oriented mindset, we begin to think outside the box. We explore different options, we test new ideas, and we become open to perspectives we hadn't considered before. Solutions often require creativity, and creativity flourishes in the absence of fear and doubt. Action is essential in focusing on solutions. It is not enough to simply think about potential outcomes. We must take decisive steps toward them. When we shift from dwelling on the problem to actively seeking solutions, we turn our thoughts into action. The act of doing something, no matter how small, begins to shift the momentum in our favor. Each small step toward resolving the issue builds confidence, strengthens our resolve, and moves us closer to the breakthrough we seek. Action breaks the cycle of stagnation that often comes with focusing on struggles. It reminds us that we are not powerless, we are active participants in creating the change we desire. It is also crucial to remain patient and persistent in this process. Solutions do not always come immediately, and sometimes they require time and effort to fully materialize. Focusing on solutions means committing to the long game, understanding that progress is often incremental. There may be setbacks, and sometimes the path forward is not linear. But as long as you keep your focus on finding a way forward, you are always moving in the right direction. Patience is the companion of solutions because it allows us to persevere even when the answer is not yet clear. Additionally, focusing on solutions cultivates a sense of self-empowerment. When you focus on struggles, you may feel like a victim of your circumstances. It's easy to fall into a mindset of helplessness, where the problem seems bigger than your ability to resolve it. But when you turn your focus to solutions, you step into a place of power. You realize that while the problem may be challenging, it is not insurmountable. You begin to see yourself as capable of finding a way through. And that shift in mindset is transformative. Empowerment comes from the belief that you are not defined by your struggles, but by your ability to rise above them. Finally, focusing on solutions inspires hope. Hope is essential for navigating life's challenges because it fuels perseverance. When you focus on the solution, you begin to believe in the possibility of a positive outcome. You start to see that your efforts will lead to progress, even if it's not immediate. Hope gives you the strength to keep pushing forward, to keep seeking answers, and to stay committed to the journey. Solutions are born in an environment where hope thrives because it opens the, opens the door to possibilities that would otherwise remain hidden. In conclusion, Focusing on solutions rather than struggles is a choice, a choice to take control of your mindset, your actions, and your future. It is about refusing to be overwhelmed by the problem and instead channeling your energy into finding a way forward. It's about activating your creativity, taking purposeful action, and staying patient through the process. When you focus on solutions, you shift from a place of weakness to a place of strength, from despair to hope, and from confusion to clarity. And it is in this place that true transformation occurs. Not everyone deserves access to your life, your thoughts, or your emotions. This is a hard truth that many struggle with, but it is one of the most powerful principles we can embrace for our personal growth and well-being. You are a unique being with a purpose, vision, and journey that is unlike anyone else's. 
With that in mind, access to your inner world should be treated with care, discernment, and wisdom. Giving everyone access to your life is not only unwise, but can be detrimental to your peace, your progress, and your purpose. First, understand that you are valuable. Your time, energy, and emotional space are limited resources, and they should be treated as such. Not everyone deserves to be privy to your struggles, your dreams, or your vulnerabilities. We often fall into the trap of thinking that openness with everyone is a sign of strength or authenticity. But the truth is that true strength lies in knowing when to share and with whom. You are not obligated to open your heart to everyone who demands your attention. Protecting your inner space is not about being closed off or distant. It's about recognizing that your value is too great to be carelessly exposed. Access to your life should be earned, not given freely. The people who deserve to be in your inner circle are those who have shown that they respect and honor who you are, who contribute positively to your growth, and who handle your vulnerability with care. Not everyone who smiles at you is for you. Not everyone who listens to you genuinely supports you. Some people come into your life with hidden motives, and if you grant them access without discernment, they can misuse what they know about you. There are individuals who feed off negativity, drama, or control and allowing them into your inner world can leave you drained and disoriented. In guarding access, you must also learn to recognize the difference between acquaintances and confidants. Acquaintances may be friendly, helpful, or even present during moments of need, but that doesn't mean they are meant to be a part of your inner circle. Confidants are those rare individuals who understand your heart, support your dreams, and speak truth into your life, even when it's uncomfortable. They are the ones who uplift you, challenge you to be better, and protect your peace. Confidence earn their place in your life because they have demonstrated consistency, loyalty, and genuine care. You must be selective about who enters this sacred space, as not everyone is equipped to walk with you through the highs and lows of life. Additionally, access to your emotional space should be monitored. Emotions are powerful, and when shared with the wrong people, they can be used against you. Some people thrive on the vulnerabilities of others, using emotional information to manipulate, control, or diminish your sense of self-worth. When you allow someone access to your emotions, you are giving them a part of your inner strength. Therefore, be intentional about who you allow to influence your emotional state. If someone constantly brings you down, causes confusion, or introduces unnecessary stress into your life, it's a sign that they do not deserve access to your emotions. Protecting your emotional well-being is essential for maintaining clarity, purpose, and peace. Guarding access also means setting clear boundaries. Boundaries are a form of respect, not just for yourself, but for others as well. When you set boundaries, you are defining the terms of engagement for how others interact with you. Some people may be offended by your boundaries, but that's because they have benefited from having unrestricted access to your life. Boundaries help protect you from emotional exhaustion, unnecessary drama, and toxic relationships. They give you the freedom to prioritize your own well-being while still engaging with the world in a healthy, balanced way. It's also important to understand that not everyone is meant to stay in your life forever. Some people come into your life for a season bringing lessons, experiences, or opportunities for growth. But when their season is over, it's okay to let them go. Clinging to relationships that no longer serve your purpose can be a hindrance to your progress. Just because someone had access to you in the past, doesn't mean they are entitled to access in the future. People grow, change, and evolve, and sometimes outgrowing relationships is part of your journey. Honor the people who have contributed to your life, but don't feel obligated to maintain access where it no longer aligns with your growth. In addition, access to your dreams and goals must be guarded carefully. Dreams are fragile in their early stages, and sharing them with the wrong people can lead to doubt, discouragement, or even sabotage. Not everyone has the vision to see what you see, and some may project their own limitations onto your dreams. If you share your aspirations with individuals who are negative, small-minded, or envious, you may find yourself second-guessing your path. Your dreams deserve to be nurtured in an environment of faith, positivity, and encouragement. Surround yourself with people who believe in your potential and who push you toward greatness. Finally, Remember that guarding access to your life is an act of self-respect. It is a recognition of your worth and the importance of protecting what is precious to you. When you are selective about who has access to your thoughts, emotions, and time, you preserve your energy for what truly matters, 
You can focus on your purpose, your relationships, and your growth without being weighed down by the unnecessary drama or negativity of others. You are in control of your life, and you have the right to decide who gets a seat at the table. In conclusion, not everyone deserves access to your life. This is not about shutting people out, but about being intentional with whom you let in. Your time, your emotions, your dreams, these are sacred, and you must guard them with wisdom and discernment. By doing so, you protect your peace, enhance your focus, and create space for those who truly deserve to walk alongside you on your journey. Transforming problems into opportunities is a principle that can radically change the trajectory of your life. Every problem carries within it the seed of potential. What many see as obstacles are often the very catalyst needed for growth, innovation, and transformation. The key lies in how you perceive and respond to challenges. While some are overwhelmed by difficulties and see them as roadblocks, others recognize that hidden within every problem is an opportunity waiting to be seized. The first step in transforming problems into opportunities is to shift your mindset. Most people view problems as disruptions to their plans, unexpected forces that derail their progress. But if you only see a problem as something negative, you miss the opportunity it presents. Problems are not barriers, they are bridges. Every challenge you face contains valuable lessons, insights, and new possibilities that wouldn't have surfaced without the problem in the first place. It's all about perspective. You can either focus on the difficulty of the situation, or you can focus on what the situation is trying to teach you. It is this shift in mindset that begins the transformation process. Consider this problems reveal areas for growth and improvement. If everything in life were easy and predictable, there would be no reason to grow or evolve. Problems expose weaknesses, whether in ourselves, our relationships, or the systems we rely on. But rather than viewing these weaknesses as discouraging, we can see them as opportunities for improvement. The areas where we struggle the most are often the areas that hold the greatest potential for growth. A problem challenges you to stretch beyond your current capacity. It forces you to find new solutions, to think in ways you never thought before, and to discover strengths you didn't know you had. Moreover, problems breed innovation. Many of the world's greatest breakthroughs have come from individuals or organizations facing seemingly insurmountable challenges. When we are confronted with a problem, especially one that feels unsolvable, it forces us to think creatively. We are pushed out of our comfort zones and into a space where new ideas and approaches are born. If you look closely at history, you'll find that many inventions, discoveries, and advancements were born out of necessity because someone faced a problem and refused to give up. They saw the problem as an opportunity to innovate, to create something that didn't exist before. The same principle applies to your life. The problems you face today could be the very things that push you to create solutions that not only benefit you but others as well. Problems also test your resilience and build your character. It is one thing to succeed when everything is going smoothly, but true strength is developed in the midst of adversity. Problems have a way of revealing what you are truly made of. When you face challenges head on and refuse to be defeated by them, you build inner resilience. This resilience becomes a foundation that will serve you in every area of your life. The more problems you face and overcome, the stronger you become. And with each victory, no matter how small your confidence grows, you begin to realize that no matter what life throws at you, you have the ability to navigate through it and come out stronger on the other side. Another important aspect of transforming problems into opportunities is understanding that problems reveal purpose sometimes. The very problems we encounter are what lead us to discover our true calling or destiny. Many people discover their life's purpose not in moments of comfort, but in moments of great challenge. A problem can serve as a turning point that redirects your life towards something greater than what you had previously envisioned. When you face a problem, ask yourself, what is this challenge trying to reveal about my path or my purpose often? What seems like a setback is actually a setup for something greater. The problems we encounter may be the catalysts that push us toward fulfilling our potential. Furthermore, problems invite collaboration and relationship building. No one can solve every problem alone. And many of the greatest opportunities come when you involve others in the process. Problems often create spaces for new partnerships, connections, and teamwork. When you face a challenge that is bigger than your current capacity, it encourages you to reach out to share ideas, and to collaborate with others who bring different perspectives and skills. This not only enhances your ability to solve the problem, but also expands your network and strengthens relationships. 
Some of the most meaningful collaborations in business, innovation, and personal growth have arisen because people came together to tackle a common problem. Patience and persistence are crucial in the process of transforming problems into opportunities. Opportunities don't always present themselves immediately. Sometimes the transformation takes time. It requires endurance and the ability to remain steadfast even when the solution is invisible. There are times when the problem may seem overwhelming and the temptation is to give up or walk away. But often it's in the moments when we persevere, when we dig a little deeper, that the greatest breakthroughs occur. The process of transforming a problem into an opportunity is not always easy, but it is always worth it. Persistence allows you to push through the discomfort of the problem until the opportunity reveals itself. Finally, problems offer opportunities for gratitude and reflection. When you look back on the problems you faced and the solutions you found, you begin to see them not as burdens but as blessings. Each problem is an opportunity to learn something new about yourself, to develop a new skill, or to create something of value. Reflecting on past challenges allows you to see how far you've come and what you've gained from the experiences. This reflection breeds gratitude not necessarily for the problem itself, but for the growth, wisdom, and opportunities it brought into your life. In conclusion, problems are not to be feared or avoided, they are to be embraced as part of life's process of growth and transformation. The ability to transform problems into opportunities is a hallmark of success, resilience, and purpose-driven living. When you shift your mindset, embrace the lessons, and pursue solutions with creativity and persistence, problems become the very tools that shape your destiny. Each challenge is an invitation to grow, to innovate, to collaborate, and to strengthen your character. And as you transform your problems into opportunities, you will find that life opens up in ways you never imagined, leading you to a future filled with possibilities beyond what you once thought possible.